My dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to our NIEBS Home School. I am Shandi Rahman, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School Day Shift Science. Today I am going to take a science class for the student of class 2 and our today's lecture number 14, homework number 11 and today's topic is chapter 6, reading done, exercise, one word answer, question answer and word meaning. Term, half yearly exam. My name is Shanti Dharman and this is my contact number. Now, let's start our class. Today we will discuss chapter 6. The name of chapter 6 is Food for Living. Our today's chapter name is Food for Living. So, after reading this chapter, we will understand that why food is need for us, which food is good for us, why we take food and uh, different kinds of food. We will know about this after reading this chapter. So, we will discuss it. Why we need food is very important for us. We need food to live and grow. Without food and water, we cannot live. We need energy to work and play. Food gives us energy to think, work, play, grow and strong. Food also protects us from diseases. We get food from plants and animals. Food from plants and animals. We get food from both plants and animals. Food from plants. Plants give us cereals and pulses. Cereals and pulses are called food grains. We get vegetables and fruits also from plants. We must eat fruits and vegetables. We, you know about different kinds of fruits like apple, banana, jackfruit, mango and also different kinds of vegetables like potato, uh, carrot, ginger. These uh, things are vegetables. Food from animals. We get food from animals and birds. Cows, goats and buffaloes give us milk. We make butter, cheese, curd, etc. from milk. We also get honey, eggs, fish and meat from animals. We get honey from honeybees. So there are a picture of some fruits which we get from the plants and here are the picture of some foods which we get from animals. In this food there are milk, egg, uh, fish, chicken, meat, um, uh, there, and then grains etc. So food groups. We learn we can be uh, food can be divided into three main groups. We divided food in three main groups. They are energy giving food, bodybuilding food and protective food. We divided foods into three groups. In one is energy giving food, two, number two is bodybuilding food and number three is protective food. Now we discuss which uh, about um, food. Energy giving food. Food gives us energy to work and play. These food are called energy giving food. Wheat, rice, bread, potato, banana, sugar, maize, millets, etc. are example of energy giving food. This food gives us energy so that we can work properly. And energy giving here is a picture of energy giving food like rice, bread, chapatis, maize, potatoes, bananas and millets. Now we discuss about second group food, bodybuilding food. Some food items help us to grow and make our muscles and bone stronger. These food are called bodybuilding food. These food items are milk and milk products like cheese, butter, ghee, etc. Fish, egg, meat and pulses etc. are example of bodybuilding food. That means we get protein from this food and this protein helps us to make our body. Now, here is the picture of bodybuilding food like pulses, 
milk, milk products, here is car, uh, bread, um, ghee, butter, egg, fish, meat. These things are bodybuilding food. Now we discuss protective food. Uh, which one is the protective food? Some food protects us from falling ill. These food are called protective food. Fruits, vegetables and nuts are example of protective food. Here is the picture of the protective food. In uh, picture number one, we found different kinds of fruits. Here is the mango, banana, jackfruit, apple, uh, lychee, grapes and lots of uh, fruits and in the picture number two there are lots of vegetables like cauliflower, uh, brinjal, potato, carrot etc and here is the picture of different kinds of nut. Now we discuss water. We should drink lots of water every day. Water helps us to digest our food and keep us healthy. Digest means break down food. After digested then we get the uh, gist of the food junk food some food are not very good for our health because they have a lot of fat or sugar in them eating too much of this food makes us fat these food are called junk food cold means sweets oily food and fast food are example of junk food i know that lots of our uh, kids like junk food like burger chicken fry uh, french fry and um, pasta like this but we should avoid this food because they are full of sweet and salt which is not healthy for our uh, health meals in a day eating in the proper time is important the food that we eat at a particular time of the day is called a meal i repeat again eating in the proper time is important the food that we eat at a particular time of the day is called meal so the meal that we eat in the morning is breakfast so in the morning which we take is called breakfast the meal that we eat in the afternoon is called lunch and last one the meat that we eat at the night is called dinner now good food habits good food habits are very important for us to lead a healthy life there are few rules to be followed for healthy food habits like number one wash your hands before and after meals when you take meals uh, before taking meal you wash your hand and after taking meal you also wash your hand keep a fixed time for eating do not waste food do not eat junk food often do not eat uncovered food drink plenty of water drink boiled or filtered water wash vegetables and fruits before eating so when we taking fruits and vegetables we should wash it before taking this food now here wash your hands before and after meal here is a picture and say that you should wash your hands before and after meal eating the right amount of food from each group is called a balanced diet which is called a balanced diet eating the right amount of food from each group is called a balanced diet so we discuss these chapters i think you can understand now we will do exercise here is chapter 6 exercise number a tick the correct answer now number one eating food help us to grow or play or both so eating food help us to grow and play so we put the tick mark on both the meal that we eat in the afternoon is called dinner lunch breakfast the meal that we eat in the afternoon is called lunch so we put the tick mark on lunch number three cereals and pulses are nuts seeds food grains we know that cereals and pulses are food grains so we put the tick mark on food grains number four the food that we eat at a fixed time is called lunch dinner milk the food that we eat at a fixed time is called meal so we put the tick mark on meal an example of bodybuilding food is pulses potato bread 
an example of bodybuilding food is pulses <coughs> number b exercise number b circle the odd one here are name of different kinds of foods so after reading the name of the food we will circle the food which is odd wheat rice meat and banana wheat rice and banana we found these three items food from the plants and meat we found this item food from the animal so this one is odd so we circle it number two sweet chips cold drinks milk here sweet chips and cold drinks are junk food and milk is a nutritious food so milk is odd so we circle it number three cheese millets fish egg cheese made from milk fish we found from animal egg also found from animal but millets we found this from plants so this food item is different from these food items so we circle it number four orange spinach apple rice here orange apple and rice these three things are um, plants food so spinach here is different so we circle it okay now we will do c exercise number c number c fill in the blanks number one keep a dash time for eating keep a proper time for eating p r o p e r proper so keep a proper time for eating p r o p e r proper cold drink is a dash food we know that cold drink is a junk food j u n k junk food so cold drink is a junk food meals number 3 meals eaten in the morning is dash meals eaten in the morning is called breakfast b r e a k break f a s t breakfast so meals eaten in the morning is called breakfast number 4 dash protect us from falling ill here answer is protective food p r o t e c t i v e p r o t e c t i v e protective food protect us from falling ill number 5 we make butter cheese and curd from dash we make butter cheese and curd from milk number 6 good food dash are very helps us to lead a healthy life here answer is good food habits are very helps us to lead a healthy life now we will do exercise number d write true or false number 1 we should eat covered food answer is true because we should eat covered fruit food number 2 the meal we have at night is lunch answer is false the meal we have at night is called dinner number 3 wheat and rice are body building food no wheat and rice are not body building food number 4 junk food have fat and sugar in them answer is true number 5 we should drink plenty of water answer is true number 6 nuts are very only protective food no only nuts is not protective food there are lots of food which are protective food so answer is false 
my dear students now we will discuss word meaning and one word answer and question answer from this chapter so chapter 6 word meaning number first word energy e and e r g y energy means get from food help us to work and play energy get from food help us to work and play number b body b o d y body word b o d y body answer body means the physical structure of a person or an animal body means the physical structure of a person or an animal one word answer number two one word answer question number one a which food helps to build our body fights against diseases answer nuts again i repeat which food helps to build our body fights against diseases answer nuts number b which food makes our bones stronger answer milk again i repeat which food makes our bones stronger answer milk number c how in how many groups we divided our food answer three again i repeat in how many groups we divide our food answer three now we will discuss question answer from this chapter state five ways in which you have a good food habit answer good food habits are very important for us five ways to have a good food habit are number one wash your hands before and after meals number two keep a fixed time for eating number three do not waste food number four do not eat junk food number five drink plenty of water so we have to follow these five rules for good food habit wash our hands before and after taking meals and keep a fixed time for eating do not waste food do not eat junk food and drink plenty of water my dear students i hope you understand our today's class and you will practice this uh, chapter at your home till then keep well assalamu alaikum